Hi everybody, it's Michael Fox from the Little Metal Dog Show here at the UK Games Expo live in Birmingham 2011 and I'm joined today by uh, David and Leonard, the guys from Backspindle Games who are here with Guards Guards, the Discworld board game. Gentlemen, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's cool. Uh, now, the guys have been on the show before on the podcast, but um, we didn't actually get to see what the game's like because, well, you know, it's an audio medium and this is visual. So, let's talk about the game itself. How on earth did you guys come about designing a Discworld board game? Well, a long time ago, when that young guys both avid fans really, but we were mm. playing a lot of role playing games and stuff like that. We had a group of friends who got together right for that, but there was those nights you get together and you're, um, within five minutes you know you're not going to have any serious game about that, that. So for those sort of things we had sort of lighter games and put out, and this was just something I threw together, a bit of spare time. A much simpler version, but we put something together which was just a bit of fun for the and it was and um, it stayed like that for a long time. Um, and it was a few years down the line from that that uh, we learned that Terry Pratchett was going to be in Belfast and Brooks and we thought we'd well, take it around a couple of years on So he seemed quite interested and so I decided to get a board game company interested. And, it took us a while since then, but we finally got it. It was a bit of a, you know, uh, knowing the story of it, it was a bit of a roller coaster up and down trying to get yeah. the damn thing published. But now it's finally been picked up by Z Man Games, so we're going to be seeing it when? Um, the first copies are. Hopefully July. Yeah, cool. July, 8th of July in North American Discworld Convention. Fantastic. Uh, will be the first copies then, hopefully on sale in the UK and online shortly after that. Nice one. So, the game itself, what's the, uh, what's the objective? Tell us about your. Uh, you, what you need to do? Well, I suppose we always thought Terry Pratchett books, if you want to be anybody, you'd like to be a member of the City Watch. So you get to be an honorary member of the City Watch, and you get to recruit people around the city of Ant Warpork mm -hmm. to get the magical spells back to the Unseen University. Which is right here in the centre of the board. Exactly. And it's really basically a race to get the spells back with all the magic of Discworld happening all around the players, the characters, and all the interaction that goes on in a normal city life. Cool. Now I know it's a very sort of um, it's a game obviously of strategy, but there's also an awful lot of chaos in there and, and knocking the crap out of your opponents. So I mean, how how are you going to uh, how do you capture that whole Discworld vibe? How do you capture the feel of it? Well, we've taken the characters in the game. We've taken characters from the twentieth. I think yeah, it's not just about Guards Guards. It's not book. just about Guards yeah. It has subplots from Guards Guards book in there. It's got little bits of light fantastic and colour and magic. So the Guards Guards title comes from more the fact that you're playing guards. Yeah. That's where the title was chosen, but there's bits of lots of books in there. And we've got obviously all the characters are in there. And uh, we've got your fake cards that Odds and sorts, magic cards and item cards. Mm -hmm. The uh, magic cards, the scroll cards are all taken from the games, from the Discworld, and we've created spells and all that they may use and pass on. People can use those. Uh, and of course, we've got the luggage. And everybody loves the luggage. Which, of course. <laughs> yeah. Which is trundling around the city, practically written for a journey. Uh, it just moves in, just throughout the game. And yeah. it's Traveling anyone who gets in its way. Cool. So each player represents a guild, yeah? So it's seeing that we've got um, those little guild cards here. So we've got the Guild of Alchemists yes. there, Guild of Thieves. So each person's got one of them at their disposal, and you're trying to collect people to grab the spells and then get them back to the centre of the The storyline is you remember the watch and you've been assigned to your guild. Right. We want to help because it's in everybody's interest to get these spells back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this world is doomed. Um, so you're heading off to collect the spells on your way. Because time is short, you haven't got time to return the spells yourself. So what you do is you recruit the other members of the city folk. You've got three character classes, she's in Shadow Man and Beast Lords and Ladies. Right. You recruit whoever you see fit. Once you get your spell, you then hand it to them, and they go turn off that back always taking that back while you start recruiting new members for your next. But like the book, rolling back with the spell on their arms. Nice one. Now, it's got to be said, um, the the disc world is a very sort of um, people are very very protective about it, especially you know what they think it looks like in their heads, you know their visions of it. So what you've done, you know, I, I can see obviously the board pretty is lovely. Artwork 
it looks like I mean you've got some proper disc world artists involved here. Yeah, yeah. we um, were appointed to Stephen Flair in the United States. Mm -hmm. And Stephen was delighted to come on board and do the artwork. And as you can see, he's done a lot of the, the character cards, which are you know the likes of these guys, Cosmo Lavish. They're all specifically done. They've all been approved and passed through Terry Pratchett. He's done the likes of the dragon cards here, which you can see are quite effective for blocking off quadrants. Yep. Um, and he also did some of the items as well that, that people pick up in the shops, the helmets and bits of that. Cool. So we every single that, character is like, in, you know, individually all individually done. Yeah. Individually done. Well, we felt it was important to get a new Discworld artist on the board. And as you say, people have a thing for Discworld themselves. They know what it looks like. Obviously, a lot of it's um, known Discworld artists. For yeah. People. We felt it was important to get somebody that's working with. Obviously, Stephen Players illustrated several books before. Yeah, yeah. He's done the Fables. He's done a lot of he did the, course, the disc world. He, he did the cover for Guards Guards. <laughs> you know, so, uh, Absolutely uh, we were really chopped when he was. I mean, as soon as we spoke to him, he was mad, keen and getting involved. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I'm really, really pleased that you guys have actually, you know, you, you stuck with it and you fought tooth and nail to try and get the thing released. I'm really, really you know, pleased to see that it's going to be coming out in July. Well, it's a bit of an anniversary because if it was a, a wedding, it's 20 years this year since the, the idea started, so it's a kind of nice anniversary, 1991 to 2011. Oh well, fantastic. We're really, really pleased that you've came, uh, come to show it to, this, uh, show it to us today. And uh, enjoy the rest of the expo. Thanks very much. Cool. This is Michael Fox with the UK Games uh, Media Network at UK Games Expo Live.